Hello, and welcome to Jimmy Kimmel Live. I am your guest host, Carrie Washington, and tonight, I am making television history as the first woman to ever host a late night show on a covered patio in 100 degree heat and 90% humidity. That is a very specific glass ceiling, but I just broke the hell out of it, <laughs> which is good because I haven't been doing much during quarantine. Just, you know, being a teacher and a camp counselor and a lifeguard, you know, just a mom during COVID times. Also running a production company from a corner of my bedroom and learning how to cook new things because sometimes I'm just paranoid about ordering takeout. Teaching yoga on Instagram to calm my own damn nerves and doing press for my new documentary, The Fight, which basically means running a press junket from that same corner of that same bedroom. But other than that, totally chill. <sighs> But when I'm feeling my most anxious, I think about the frontline workers, the grocery store employees, the sanitation workers, the mail carriers. Shout out to the mail carriers, especially right now. I think about how hard they're working, and I'm just truly grateful. A lot has been put in perspective during COVID. I think we're all feeling more grateful for our loved ones, and we are more aware of the fragility of life and the need to really look out for one another, which is why I am so happy that I could fill in for Jimmy so he could spend the summer catching exactly four fish. Come on, Jimmy, do better. <laughs> all kidding aside, I love you, Jimmy Kimmel. Actually, funny fact, between me and Jimmy together, we've won seven NAACP Image Awards. That's true. Look it up. <laughs> Another fun fact is we are currently nominated for an Emmy together for our work on live in front of a studio audience. I just love working with Jimmy and apparently for Jimmy while he sits in a hammock scrolling through his Instagram. <laughs> okay, listen, there is a lot going on in America right now. I don't even know how you find the funny. I never thought I'd see the day when I'm having panic attacks thinking about the U.S. Postal Service, but ladies and gentlemen, that's 2020 for you. The Democratic National Convention got underway today, which I will be participating in on Wednesday. I'm super excited. It is not my first time speaking at a convention. And a lot of people think that I'm drawn to politics because I start on Scandal, a show, in case you've never seen it, a show set in an alternate universe where people actually care when a president does something wrong. But really, I'm drawn to politics because I'm an American. And like you, I get to have a say about who the people are that make the rules and decisions that guide our lives. And not just at the top of the ticket, we get to choose our local leaders as well. So part of my passion for politics and civil engagement comes from my parents. If you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, shame on you, you already know my dad, Earl, who is hilarious. I like to post videos of him, like this brilliant acceptance speech for his Emmy nomination, which he didn't actually get. It is an honor to be a background featured artist. Thank you to the Academy for nominating both of my shows. My work in live in front of a studio audience and Little Fires is stellar. I feel that it was probably some of my best work. Thank you. He is a brilliant background actor. Honestly, if there was a Backademy Award, he would win it. He's the most adorable man in America, and he loves to tell jokes. So when he heard I was doing my first late night monologue, he said he wanted to pitch in and help me out with material because he doesn't think I'm funny. So let's go to him now. Please say hello to my father, Earl Washington. Hey, Dad. Hey, hey kid. You're looking good. Sounding oh, good. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, Thank really, you. really, it's your really. I, I, I love it. Love it. Dad, this is your late night TV debut. How does it feel? You know, this is awesome. And it's at a really strategic time. You know, we're in such a turmoil with this play. And so any kind of humor really, mm. really works. And, you know, some of the stuff that I do, which are bad dad jokes, are really interesting. You know why? Why? Because they sneak up on you. I mean, they really do. I mean, how do you know that it's a dad joke? How? It becomes apparent. Oh, <laughs> now that's ridiculous. <laughs> that is absolutely ridiculous. Or, that's good. Or, you okay. know, the, why did the cookie take himself to the hospital? 
Why? Because he felt crummy. Oh, oh, oh. You know, some of the best, some of your best dad jokes come from six to 10 year olds. Absolutely. But dad, dad, here's, here's the problem. Um, a lot of times when you're doing late night, the jokes in your monologue should be like centered around current events or politics, or do you have any yeah. of those? Yeah, I sure do. What's the most progressive body of water? Uh, I don't, I don't know. A O C. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Now that's silly. Oh, that's that terrible. Is so, that is terrible. That's so but that's what makes it fun. <laughs> I guess. Okay, you have time for one more, Dad. I'm giving you one more. What do the kids? What do the kids? Oh, yeah. Is that, is that mom is, producing you? Is mom your producer? <laughs> no, 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 no. She's just prodding me. <laughs> how do vegans, how do vegans vote? H how? Kale. Election kale. <laughs> you have to say, you have to say, vote by kale. Oh, oh, gosh. <laughs> they vote by kale. Oh, <laughs> they vote by kale. Oh, Dad, you're amazing. I love you very much. <laughs> I'm so uh, happy that you made my monologue better. So thank you for being the best dad. Oh, and you are so gracious. We have a great show for you tonight. We're just getting started. We're going to meet an entire family of healthcare heroes, and we'll be right back with Earl Washington's co-star from Little Fires Everywhere, my friend Reese Witherspoon.